we can see here, uh, this young man is having his hair dried first, his locks dried. We just had them washed. And you can see all the loose hairs coming out. I had asked him, and he said it, he had uh, been four months since the last time he had his hair dreadlocked with maintenance. So there's a lot of loose hairs that happen. And this is one of the real important things to know about dreadlocks, is that it will take maintenance, continued maintenance, to keep the dreadlocks looking nice. Some people, they use wax and other things. I don't know much about that. But the needle style, which is very clean, keeps the scalp clean, keeps the locks clean, uh, needs to be maintained. So every month or two is optimal, but you can go as long as you want. But the longer you go, the more uh, loose hairs will have come out. And after he gets started, I think he'll let us do some video of his hair being maintained, his dreadlocks being maintained. But it's real important that the hair gets dry first. It'll make the locking easier. I've worked with wet hair before too, and it sticks to the needle more. So dry hair works a lot better to have the needle glide in smoother so that the dreadlocking can be done quicker. Also too, if the dreadlock is knotted with water in there, I worry about mildew and other things that could happen with the water inside the, the dreads. Awesome, good length. My wife is still getting hers done. And this is one of the, my favorite things about coming here too, is that uh, this salon works with a lot of foreigners, uh, being people that have traditionally straight hair. And if you can't get your dreadlocks in Jamaica, uh, getting them in Thailand is a, a good alternative. It's quick, uh, clean looking, and they work a lot more with the straight hair. That sliding motion. Just poke it and slide it out. So they're not even poking through as much. I've studied the style as much as I can, and I can see the needle going through to the other side. So they just poke in and they just slide it out and twist. Poke in, slide it out, and twist. Twisting with the other hand and poking with the crochet hook. Very quick, this method. It's well worth the time to invest in learning how to do it. Because this seems to be the method that is easiest on the hands and is quickest. But I've tried and it's a difficult process to learn. So it will take some time. For those of you that have dreadlocks, uh, you have all the time in the world to practice. And knowing the style, I'll go ahead and see how tight the locks are. And the locks aren't very tight, but they sure do have a good cylindrical look. So I think that's what one of these methods is that they just go through and it catches all those loose hairs and it makes it into that cylinder without making it into that hard solid lock that I usually make. So this is a different style of using the needle technique. I'd maybe call it a soft style. Wait. Makes the locks look real clean. And the lock is still real loose. It's not as hard. So there's a lot of advantages to it. 
And the only disadvantage I could think of is that it will require more maintenance more often. But if you're good at it, it's, it's sort of a balance. I know with the, the thicker, tighter locks that I make, over time, it gets harder and harder to poke the needle through. This way, it'll be the same type of maintenance the entire time. A nice, smooth motion. But either way, you know, learning a skill, it's best to learn as many different types of variations and then choosing the one that's best for whatever's appropriate. So if you like your locks tight and thick, then my other videos, and then this method for uh, quick uh, locks that are a little bit looser. Doing it quick sure does make up for a lot of time in the long run. Smooth action. One of the great things too that I wanted to mention is that having dreadlocks done here compared to America is a lot cheaper. To have dreadlocks done here is about $30, 30, dollars, 30 US dollars. Uh, in America, it can be very expensive into the hundred or hundreds of dollars, depending on how long the hair is. So labor here is very cheap to have people do the work and it's readily available. As I've talked about, there's people on the street doing it and they are equally as cheap. But like I've said before, it's a lot nicer to sit down in a nice comfortable chair indoors and have it done that way. One of the things I'm noticing is that there's two different styles that I've noticed that the people here in Bangkok use. And that's the adding of the hair to make it thicker and doing it without adding the hair. And depending on which style you want, you can request either. I know with a lot of salons, they usually add the hair, uh, probably because it makes the locking easier. Uh, and makes the locks thicker more quickly. So as you notice when they add the loose hair they just add a clump of human hair you can buy it, buy it that way and then just lock it into the dreadlock. This can be done to thicken up locks and it can be done also to initially form the locks. The young man that we saw earlier uh, just had his hair locked for the first time and he was not adding any uh, other hair to it.